Are they feeling it too? Are you feeling a bit of sexual tension with someone but can't tell if they feel the same way? According to Zana Rangalova, PhD and adjunct professor of human sexuality at New York University, it is absolutely possible for one person to feel like they have sexual chemistry with someone and for that feeling not to be reciprocated. So where do you even begin to tell if someone reciprocates that feeling? Well, you could always ask them and communicating your feelings about them could be a good idea. But if you're looking for a few hints first to tell if they feel it too, then you're in the right place. But what really is sexual chemistry? According to Dr. Vangelova, sexual chemistry is the very strong but ineffable feeling that you feel in your body when you're attracted to someone. And Rachel Hoffman explained to Insider that when you feel a magnetic pull or spark towards someone when you're not engaging in physical intimacy, this is what we call sexual tension. But not everyone experiences sexual tension as quickly as others. Rangalova explains in an article in Shape that demisexuals who often experience sexual desire for someone only when an emotional relationship is first present may not have sexual chemistry with one person until a year or more into their emotionally strong relationship. So it's different for everyone. But when it does happen, there are some common signs. What are these signs you may ask? Well, here are seven common signs someone may feel sexual tension with you. Words left unsaid. Every time you depart with this specific individual, it always feels like there's something they wanted to say, but are held back. A bit of hesitancy and then moving on. It may feel like you both want to scream out, I like you, but silence seems so much easier to you both right now. According to an article from Malvine, this could be a deliberate tactic to lead you to making a move, or it could be them getting tempted to take things further, but chickening out. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to ask them out on a romantic date to see if they feel the same way about you. No, silence instead. Yeah, okay. They're so funny. Wait, they're not though. <laughs> oh, Pablo, you're so funny. Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> to get to the other side. <laughs> you're anti-humor. Wait, who's Pablo? He's my imaginary boyfriend to provide context to the situation. Yeah, chickens crossing the road may not be funny when someone else is telling the joke, but when Pablo gets to that punchline, you're laughing with tears in your eyes. Ugh, Pablo. Point being, they're funnier to you because you're attracted to them. Researcher and award-winning sex educator Justin Lemeler, PhD, explains in Men's Health that when people feel an overwhelming attraction to each other, a lot of positive affect tends to be exchanged, and that includes frequent smiles. Ever find yourself stuck in a smile or giggle anytime you look at your crush? Lemeler explains that smiling is a natural response when someone makes you feel good. And it creates this feedback loop where one person smiles and that gets the other to smile even more. Le Miller notes, it's also the case that when you're really into another person, you tend to think all of their jokes are funnier. Heart a flutter. Ever feel your heart pick up the pace as soon as you spot your crush? According to Healthline, attraction causes a boost in the chemicals oxytocin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. This surge of chemicals can make you feel euphoric and cause physical reactions like making your heart race faster. Next time you give your crush a big old hug, maybe you'll be able to pick up on just how fast their heart is beating. Normal, oh, well, okay then. A pause and a gaze. Do you both hold eye contact a bit longer than with others? When you look into each other's eyes, does it feel more like a gaze? If there's that lingering moment before turning away from each other's eyes, they may just like you. Or perhaps quickly looking away when your crush meets your eyes is your go-to. Healthline explains that the coy gaze where you make eye contact and then look away is a common non-verbal flirting cue, according to a 2014 study that looked at flirting styles. So make some eye contact, turn away to let them know you like them, but then look back at them to make sure they know you do like them and aren't just staring off into space or something. You know, because that happens. Mm. Flirting can be so confusing. A touch here or there. Ever feel a gentle brush from your crush's hand? How about a lingering hug? Rachel Hoffman explained to Insider that when someone likes you, he'll put his hands around your back when he's talking, or maybe he guides you through a crowded bar. She adds that if he reaches for your hand, then you can almost guarantee that he's into you. Does that guy you like put their arm around you on the couch? Or does that girl you have feelings for grab your hand to lead you towards that party? They may just be attracted to you. Palms are sweaty, Ooh, not mom spaghetti. Let's say you finally ask your crush out. So you go out to an Italian dinner with them. Ah, 
romance is in the air. You always get a little heated when you're eating your favorite Italian dish, but this time it's different. You're not excited about the spaghetti, but the person sitting across from you. If you notice your palms are pretty sweaty, it's likely due to the sexual tension you may be feeling. According to Healthline, norepinephrine is also a major player in your body's fight or flight response, which is why you sweat when you get all worked up around someone you're sexually attracted to. Flirting. Of course, a common sign of sexual tension is flirting. This isn't to say flirting has to be present in order for there to be sexual tension, but it certainly helps keep those sparks flying. Do you notice they keep the flirty banter going? Who starts the flirty conversation? According to Healthline, teasing each other is a common flirting tactic that people use to provoke playfulness. So get playful, get flirting. And if they keep the flirting going, maybe they feel that sexual tension too. Time to ask them out to that Italian restaurant. Date night. So, do you think you're feeling some sexual tension with someone? Will you let them know how you feel? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.